Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2022 Small Business Awards Ceremony. Yeah. Today's ceremony. We will recognize USA's professionals who have worked so diligently to support our small business program. We are pleased to have our distinguished host for today's ceremony with us, Ten General Scott Spellman, 55th Chief of Engineers and Commanding General U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and honored to have a special guest with us today, Ms. Kimberly Bueller, Office of Small Business Program Director, Headquarters, Department of the Army. Let's give them a round. Yeah. At this time, I'll turn it over to Lieutenant General Spelling to kick us off. All right, little chief. <laughs> hey, good morning, everyone. And Ms. Bueller, thanks for, for joining us uh, today. Hey, I want everybody to think about two things uh, for the next uh, 72 hours while we're here at the conference. First of all, you all know our vision, right? Engineering solutions for our nation's toughest challenges. And we all know the three components in our mission statement, right? Energizing the economy, reducing uh, disaster risk and um, promoting national, advancing uh, national security. We don't do any of those things without our small business partners. We don't, and the numbers prove it out. So now that CFOMS is back up, <laughs> uh, and one of the CCIRs I always have at the end of the year. Okay, what was it? What was our total obligations last year? Milcon, Civil Works, all the work that we're doing for FEMA. Uh, 35 billion that you all put to work uh, last year on projects and programs around age. It's, and as General Graham will tell you, he says this all the time, it's never about the number, right? It's about the impact that you're having out on the other ground. But I am proud of that number for one reason. I am a little competitive. We beat everyone in the Army on Small Business Awards. We beat everyone. This all work, get ready, I'm gonna go there. We beat everyone in the Army, we beat everyone in DOD, the federal government, but most important to me, I don't know why, is that we beat AMC again. Yeah. <laughs> Ms. Bueller, please don't repeat that. <laughs> Some challenges already on the <laughs> So we're gonna take a, I'm gonna be very brief, we're gonna take a few minutes this morning, we're gonna recognize some exceptional performers at the district level, at the center level, at the MSC level, in, uh, in, in, in what we have been able to accomplish in, in the last year. We're gonna say thanks, we're gonna congratulate these folks, but then the rest of these 72 hours is about getting ready for the next year. And you've all seen the numbers, the program is exploding. It's well above 90 billion, as you'll hear me say, if I can get back for the, the session uh, tomorrow afternoon, we need every tool every tool available to get these, these projects of high quality safely in the ground on cost and uh, within cost and, and, and on schedule. And that's what this is about, is making the network and bringing more partners into the fray to help us do that. So Little Chief, I'm gonna turn this back over to you and let's get started. <laughs> Ms. Bueller, you had a couple of remarks. to participate in the USACE Award Ceremony. This is always a fun event, and what a way to kick off SAME. And don't worry, what happens at SAME? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd like to take a minute to thank uh, Liz Walker, uh, Valerie Oliver, and the entire USACE uh, small business team for their exceptional work in planning the award ceremony and their other SAME engagements. Thank you to all the small business, contracting, acquisition professionals, the engineers, the commanders, the entire USACE team that really makes um, everything happen for small business within the USACE and for the Army, because you really are a leader for small business achievements across the Army. The USACE mission really speaks to why we have and need small business programs. Small businesses are the engines of the US economy. They deliver innovation, provide a myriad of supplies and services to fill readiness and modernization priorities, and deliver the critical capabilities that our nation needs when they need it the most. The USA Small Business Programs and its small business professionals, all of you, um, are essential to USA's accomplishing the mission year after year. 
Over the years, I've come to know many of you, and I continue to be impressed by your professionalism and your knowledge. You remind us that there's more to what the Army does, the big Army, than procure major weapon systems and general services. Construction, A&E, civil works, each has its own unique regulations, challenges, and opportunities. FY22 again saw the USA's team exceed expectations. You exceeded the assigned small business goal, achieving over 40%. Um, by my numbers, over 40% of all prime contracts to small business across the socioeconomic spectrum. That equated to $9 billion, directly supporting economic advancement, supply chain diversity, and helping to grow generational wealth in underserved communities. The Army, the big Army, um, awarded over $24 billion of prime contracts to small business in FY22, and the USAs awarded 37% of that. <laughs> USAs continues to be a leader for awards to hub zone and women-owned small businesses, exceeding goals in both of these socioeconomic categories, and helping drive the Army towards goal achievement. I'm happy to be with you today as we recognize the accomplishments of the individuals, districts, centers, and divisions of the USAs who deliver success for the Army and our nation. I congratulate you on another successful year and look forward to working with you towards success again in FY23. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Bueller, Lieutenant General Spellman. Today we'll be highlighting extraordinary individuals and team work occurring at the district center divisions that make our small business program a top leader, in not only in the Army and DOD, but in the entire federal government. At this time, I'd like to invite Lieutenant General Spellman and Command Center to stand to the stage to begin the division level awards. The division level awards will be recognized for their achievements based on the highest overall division achievement by dollars and percentages. When your division is called, we welcome the commander and small business professional to accept the award. Our first division award recognizes the highlight division overall small business performance. The division overall small business performance by dollar value is awarded to the South Atlantic Divisions. South Atlantic Division, SAD executed $1.8 billion to small business. One, two, and the division overall small business performance by percentage is awarded to Southwestern Division. SWD awarded 73.61% of their dollars to small businesses. divisions delivered. The highest division small disadvantaged business performance by dollar value is awarded to South Atlantic Division. <laughs> SAD awarded 1.3 billion to small disadvantaged business. Division Small Disadvantaged Business Performance by Percentage is awarded to South Pacific Division. General SPD awarded 54.63% of their dollars to small disadvantaged businesses.
Next up is the division award for highest division women owned small business performance. The highest division women owned small business performance by dollar value is awarded to South Atlantic Division. Got a coin around here somewhere. It's body <laughs> The highest division women-owned small business performance by percentage is awarded to Southwestern Division. <laughs> SWD awarded 14.24% of their dollars to women-owned small business. Next up is a division award for highest historically underutilized business zone, hub zone, small business performance. For this category, <laughs> you should, should be proud. We brought home the number one spot in the entire federal government with our hub zone spend last year. The highest division hub zone small business performance is awarded to South Atlantic Division. They executed $326 million to hub zone. Wow. <laughs> the highest division hub zone performance by percentage is awarded to Mississippi Valley Division. MVD awarded 12.04% of their dollars to Hub Zone Small Businesses in FY22. <laughs> For the last division award, we recognize the highest service disabled veteran-owned small business performance. The highest division service disabled veteran-owned small business performance by dollar value is awarded to Northwestern Division. Yeah. Northwestern executed 124 million to small disabled veteran-owned small businesses in FY22. <laughs> the highest division service disabled better on a small business performance by percentage was is awarded to Southwestern Division. SWD awarded 7.92% of their dollars to small business by The achievements at the division level are only possible if the districts are achieving and expanding opportunities for small business. We will now recognize our district and centers. We know that you must be thinking, what about the districts whose budget may not raise to the level of top dollars? This next award goes out to you districts and centers that execute 50% or more of your program in small business. This demonstrates a true dedication to utilization of small business and introduces our next award. We proudly recognize 17 districts and centers are honored with this achievement. Please rise and let's give them a round of applause. That's over one third of all our districts and centers. A standing ovation. Fitting, very fitting.
Thank you to each of you for the recognized districts and centers. We will now turn to our next district award, which recognizes the highest overall small business performance. For this category, we will be recognizing the top districts and centers by dollar value and percentage. The top center overall small business performance by dollar value is awarded to Huntsville Center. Huntsville Center awarded over $824 million to small business this year. <laughs> the district overall small business performance by percentage is awarded to Fort Worth District who awarded 310.92% of their actions. Now, that's not an error. Some may say 310. I looked at this yesterday. <laughs> so this figure includes small business contracts from the Border Wall Program. Come on up. Next up is the award for highest district or center in women-owned small business performance. Women-owned small business performance by dollar value is awarded to Savannah District, who awarded $153 million to women-owned small business. by percentage is awarded to Fort Worth District, who awarded 46.27% of their actions to women and small business. I'm having a deja vu here. That's good. A district or center with the highest historically underutilized business zone, hub zone performance. We could not be number one in the federal government without these districts. The highest district and hub zone performance by dollar value is awarded to Mobile District, which executed <laughs> performance by percentage is awarded to Chicago District, yeah. who awarded 40.86% of the Small disadvantaged business performance. The uh, highest district in small disadvantaged business performance by dollar value is awarded to Jacksonville District.
Jacksonville awarded $674 million to small and disadvantaged business in FY22. is awarded to Fort Worth District, who awarded 206.883%, 83% of their dollars to small disadvantaged businesses. No, this number's not wrong, Colonel Hannah, I know you're looking at me. It includes contracts from the border wall, so keep it be honest over here. Disabled veteran owned small business performance by dollars goes to Huntsville Center. <laughs> Huntsville Center awarded $96 million to SDVOSPs. Say that quick. <laughs> Service Disabled Veteran Owned Small Business Performance by Percentage is awarded to the Seattle District. Yeah. <laughs> Seattle awarded 23.12% of their dollars to Service Disabled Veteran Owned Small Businesses this year. Yeah. accomplishments will also be considered for Army level awards. The first five nomination categories honor innovation or improvement in socioeconomic small business categories. Unlike the, the previous categories recognized today, these awards recognize offices that may not have the highest dollars spent, but have embraced innovation and best practices which have greatly improved their programs. The small business program is a team sport. So for the next six awards, we will invite the respective commander contracting officer chief and small business professional for the winning office to come up and accept these awards. The first nomination category is the small business category award. This award recognizes a district or center for their exemplary efforts and accomplishments in support of overall small business contract awards and programs. There were three nominees for this category. And the winner, the small business category award goes to Los Angeles District. Los Angeles is recognized for developing an innovative and internal survey, increasing outreach events and engagement, and develop improved training and information sharing for both government personnel and small business contractors. As a result, these collaborative efforts, the district funded ended FY22 with 58.3% in small business goal versus a 36.5% goal. This is the first time since FY18 that the small business percentage surpassed 50% at the district. The 
second category is the small but disadvantaged business category award. This award recognizes a district or center for exemplary efforts and accomplishments in support of the small disadvantaged program. There are two nominees for this category. And the award goes to Omaha District. maximizing utilization of small businesses. As a result of stakeholder collaboration, the award, the district awarded $265.8 million to small disadvantaged businesses in FY22, exceeding its overall projected goal of 15%. Once again. The third category is the, is the women-owned small business category. This award recognizes a district or center for exemplary efforts and accomplishments in support of the women-owned small business program. There were two nominees for this category. And the winner is the Los Angeles District. AGC. Two nominees for this category, and the award goes to yeah. New Orleans District. six nominees for this category. And the award goes to Albuquerque. Yeah. 
We will now move to the individual awards. We invite the award winner or representative to come on the stage to accept the award. The Program Manager Engineer of the Year Award recognizes the Program Manager Engineer who strongly supported the Small Business Program through initiatives that facilitate significant contract grant awards <laughs> and significant long-term interest. <laughs> Should I tell you there were three nominees? <laughs> and the award goes to Tim Kurgan. <laughs> From Kansas City. <laughs> Tim Spence Kurgan. Killing us. Tim Kurgan. <laughs> I think I got that right. The next Small Business Champion, or the Champion of the Year award goes to recognize the USA employee who provided his employee service and championed the small business program through initiatives that facilitated significant contract grant awards and significant, signified long-term growth and interest in the small business program at the respective division, district, or center. There are three nominees for this category. And the winner is Randall Boker. contributions to the division district center and the organization's overall small business program there are eight nominees for this award competition was fierce <laughs> and the award goes to michelle mandel alaska <laughs> temporarily perform the duties in the absence of the appointed small business professional and were not permanently assigned to the position. There were two nominees for this category. And the award goes to Jessica Locke, Southwest Division. <laughs> and by accepting on her behalf is Mr. Curry. Outstanding achievement in executing your small business program, create, created challenging initiatives, and made significant contributions to the respective division, district, or center. There were four nominees for this category. And the winner is Kathy Kinnett. So 
surprise! We're adding one more part of this before we close out today. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming and congratulations to all the winners. We have one more person in the room that we want to acknowledge. Um, and I think a lot of you know her. I know over the last two and a half years, I have really appreciated getting to know her, the value that she brings to our team. Uh, and we're really going to miss her when she leaves. So Joan, sorry to fully embarrass you. <laughs> forward a little bit. There you go. Good. Thank you for attending today's ceremony and thanks for your hard work, dedication, and service. Together, we are Army Strong, Building Strong. Please make your way to the opening general session. Essay on. Yeah.